miles, with long hours of snowfall still to come. Fueling the fall, two low-pressure systems, one from the Midwest, the other from the Southeast, colliding over the Northeast in New England. Blizzard warnings were posted in seven states from New Jersey on up to Maine. At least three declared emergencies and schools closed in a number of cities. Forecasters predicted New England would get the worst of it with up to three feet of snow likely in Boston. Mayor Thomas okay. Menino. This is a storm of major proportion. Stay off the roads. Stay home. Let the public works crews do their job. The region also braced for winds reaching 75 miles an hour that will pile up drifts and almost guarantee widespread power outages. As ever, the threat prompted shoppers to pack stores, stocking up on supplies. Well, this is panic shopping. So bread, milk, um, a snow shovel in case our snow shovel breaks. You got to plan ahead. A couple feet of snow would shut everything down and who knows, it could be a couple days, right? In New York City, predictions called for as much as a foot of snow, and Mayor Michael Bloomberg said the city had marshaled an army of plows and salt trucks. The sanitation department will deploy something like 1,700 snow plows and 65 front end loaders. It also has 450 salt spreaders already deployed. The storm also focused new concern on the New York and New Jersey shore areas still recovering from Hurricane Sandy. They face the prospect of being flooded again. I'm trying to batten down the hatches here if any storms are coming. and uh, The last one ruined us totally. And long before the worst hit, air travel was in a shambles. Well over 4,000 flights were canceled through Saturday, sending ripple effects across the country. The snow also halted Amtrak and some mass transit service in the Northeast. And for more on what's expected tonight and this weekend, we turn to Bernie Reno, a meteorologist with AccuWeather. So, what's the latest on the track of the storm and expected snow amounts? Now, I'll tell you what, the worst of this storm, as we've been pointing out all week, is going to be across southern New England. Two storms, as you mentioned, and the first storm across the Midwest, already producing quite a bit of snow across parts of New York State. But it's the second storm as it strengthens and moves north and northeast. Where our